Welcome back to another Sword Art Review. Today is episode 20. Hi, I'm Justin. What is up? I'm Logan. And together we're Cow Shock. As always, we're anime viewers only, no source material, and we're going to discuss the episode and give our scores at the end. You ready to jump on into this? I'm ready. Let's let's do this. So the beginning, Kirito and Alice are at the top now. He apparently carried her the rest of the way, jumping up those rods, carrying her when they were struggling when I... she wasn't. <laughs> I don't know how he got her up there. He is apparently a god acrobat. And just, I don't know. Maybe he just threw her up. and <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but good job, Kirito, I guess. Yeah, but uh, he also had like a <clears throat> thing to help track the blue rose sword. And he was going to use that to find Yu-Gi-Oh. But when they get there, of course, yu gi -Oh's not there. Broccoli is frozen, uh, but it's not very good. You know, freeze. He wakes up. You know, so it's not very good freeze if you can just talk and you know explain everything. <laughs> Basically, explain it. it's like, oh, Yujiro has been taken by the Chudulkin. And it's like yeah. Chudulkin, Prime Minister. Yeah, the Prime. Uh, yeah, and it's like, yeah, he explained everything, so. Had to go chasing after him now. Uh, but as soon as Kirito picks up the Blue Rose Sword, Alice is like, oh, that seems well suited to you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but only pretentious nobles would ever wield two swords. That but was... for some reason, you. It's like, all he did was pick it up and put it on. What? But all... he looked cool. <laughs> he looked <laughs> stylish. Look cool if they had Kirito sword. He was just a... Him callback you know to obviously sword art but like yeah i guess you look cool this whole episode was kind of it was just pretty much a setup i want to say to obviously the fight next episode yeah well, not a ton we, we were getting there not a ton happened yeah i was like big thing see this on the 96th floor and up we got the senators which are just the watchers who keep an eye out for taboo breakers as they're all locked up in these capsule things. But they're, right. you know, they're giving meals. <laughs> they're giving meals. That, that was look gross. Like a pleasant meal. Like, what, they're like rats. And you feed them through that little, they're like, oh, I'm going to just uh, suck the food out of this tube. It's like, okay, <laughs> that would be a shitty life. Yeah, well, I don't even know if they have, like, like yeah, like intelligence. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. They're At literally least just not anymore. They're, they look like to spy on people through the you know their bathroom windows and stuff <laughs> like that. Always pop up. Hey, you broke the rules. We're coming for you. <laughs> what you're doing is unknown, no sir. <laughs> so, I don't know. Man, they're just. <clears throat> all is taboo or you have some freaky man staring at you but then they hear a shuttle kid in the background who's kind of like a child <laughs> in a way he was watching uh he's watching the and Yuji -Oh get it on yeah that's kind of weird it wouldn't be a sao without some weird perv or weird <laughs> <laughs> he seemed kind of upset with how it was going yeah i maybe he wants to sleep with her probably He's I like, no, know. I want to, not you, Gio. He's very weird. I don't know. He's strange, loud, obnoxious at times. <laughs> He's just eccentric. Yeah. <laughs> we want to go with that. And he kind of, uh, uh, he kind of gave Alice her whole <laughs> backstory for, her. you know, he yeah. just kind of explained everything. Yeah, they kind of took her in, raised her to be a knight, essentially, but at first wasn't being raised to be a knight. Uh, but then they had a, but she didn't want to do it. So they had to do the, the whole force. Force synthesis. Yeah, and then they're like, synthesize, I think is what it was. And then they had all, you know, senators have to break down from their watch to do it. So... I guess it's not 
unless they don't want to do it, it's not easy. Otherwise, they go through a process, I guess, similar to Yu-Gi-Oh, where she just, just kind of like All mind right. fucks. Because then he say she was the first one that needed to be forced. I actually don't know if he said that. I, I think he did. It was either first or second. It was the first time he ever got to witness it. That uh, yeah, I do yeah. know. Hmm. Um. Yeah, but he just kept. Brad, I guess he decided think, to tell the story. I think he was stalling. Yeah, he definitely was. For, for the, obviously the yeah, I guess ritual. <laughs> Their <laughs> ritual. What the a sex <laughs> ritual to complete. Right. But yeah, I don't like him. <laughs> I was like, man, just kill him. Which she at least Alice did try it, but he just blew up gotcha. and got away. <laughs> but yeah, then it's you know, UGL shows up. That that's the big we went through all the stuff just to get to UGL. They had to stall it out for the ritual to finish. Yeah, that's definitely how I felt this episode was gonna go. Just pretty much building up to the fight which they did they literally ended on them about to fight like yeah, just he, he called the sword to him with his yeah, he's magic. a jedi he's a jedi thanks <laughs> i thought uh i thought uh yuji was gonna dual wield against him but i guess not because when she you know when alice first said it, i was like oh maybe he'll dual wield fight or kirito yeah that's what i meant to say <laughs> Yeah, but yu gi needs a sword. What's he going to fight with if he doesn't have his sword, okay? I don't think I'd give him a sword. <laughs> but it's not his sword. The blue rose sword that he just stole from a cave. Uh, so are they going to make Alice watch? Because that would be quite... Well, it'd be very SAO-like, but quite upsetting to, you know, do all this for... Get Alice back, and then she just watches. Kirito did say stay back, right? I know, that's so, what he said. So, he also said I'll guard your right side of her eye, but he was always on her left side throughout the episode, which was just kind of funny. <laughs> but I hope they don't just make her watch. I feel like that would be extremely lame. I feel like it's going to start out that way, <clears throat> but something's going to have to happen where she comes in. I guess, but why wouldn't Maybe. she start? Like, you know... Because the honor system thing. There ain't no honor. Knights honor. They're knights. I don't know where this... <laughs> they made up this honor. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. This is a little different. Like, Yeah, there's always been this like knight's code thing. But like, when you're brainwashed by an administrator, I feel like a knight's honor is a little different than real knight's honor. You know? Yeah, and I mean, she already made her declaration up against the church, so why would... It'd be kind of silly to, you know, want to honor against a, your enemy who you've pretty much betrayed already. Well, obviously, they're not, the fight's not going to... It's going to have to end in some way with memories and stuff, right? So they're going to have to pull his memories back to save him. Yeah. Um... Kirito... Does he have the dagger? Because didn't you? He have... did have the dagger. He did, but I don't know if it's still on him or not. So Kirito I guess if it's it, still right? on him, Kirito's gonna have to pull it out and stab it because Yujiro had it. Okay, Yujiro had it. That's gonna be. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it now. That's gonna be really dumb if the Pontifex left that dagger on him. <laughs> like... I would agree, <laughs> but, but I have a feeling he still has the knife on him. I'd be like, okay. Apparently she, you know, changed her clothes and armor and was just like, what's this? Whatever, keep it. <laughs> this is what you're going to use to fight against him since you don't have a sword. <laughs> well, at least Kirito brought him his sword because Kirito was a good guy with honor. I don't think he planned on giving him that. I think he was kind of like, oh shit, he just took that back from me. True. But yeah, but uh, yeah, and at least the uh, Mister gave Yuji what he wants, so they're all happy now. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Kirito's like, you don't even have a reason to fight me. He's like, I don't need one. <laughs> she tells me to, I'm gonna do it. Uh, yeah, I have her love or something. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I had the hot sex, and that's all I needed to be ready to go. <laughs> she gives me everything. All right, whatever you do, we all know. We all know what you mean. We all know. <laughs> He's like, when I win, I get more. Okay. <laughs> But, uh, that's mostly the episode. I'm going to jump with the score. Sure. You got this. I got this? Yeah, man. I, I went mean, first last week. F- four, and a, four and a half-ish, I want to say. Because not much really happened. It was kind of a setup episode, but I'll say five. I'll say average. All right. It was pretty average because it was just a setup episode. Nothing really happened, like, yeah, we got a bit of Alice's, you know, journey to her night. Um, I mean, that's about all we got, right? Because well, we, we, there was some information drops throughout, I guess. Yeah, a bit. As in, I mean, I don't know. They're kind of like world, I mean, world builders than anything, I guess. Kind of like the senators. True, the senators. It just shows like... the system, but as a pertain to the progress that they need because it's not like those senators are going to slow them down unless they do some forceful synthesizing of kirito right yeah i'll just say it was you could already tell it was a setup episode so i didn't really expect too much we didn't really get too much either i just hope that they don't sideline alice which i feel like they will he kind of already implied, like, oh, stand back, I got this. It's like, it's very silly to have her come to their side and not immediately help. Like, uh, her literally declaring her defiance of the church, her eye literally exploding, and for her to just be sidelined, I'd be like, that was extremely lackluster. Like, if, if that's uh, what we'll happens. find out next week. If that's what happens. <laughs> but I'll agree with the score. Uh, yeah, it's just... Yeah, we're getting to that UGL Kirito fight, which will be... I do expect I, high production and high quality. Cause we've I been building say, up to this for like four episodes now. Right, and right, I mean, so. SAO, this in particular, has had very top-notch quality in terms of like animation and fighting. Yeah. that At least by looks. For sure. Well, they need something going for it, right? <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Oh, that does it. Yeah, that's it. It's spiel time. As always, I don't have a good one for this week. I don't. Whatever. Let's get ready for <laughs> next week, okay? Be sure to hit that like, subscribe, notification bell, be notified every time we upload. Comment down below. Let us know what you thought we also did. Didn't like we scored anything like that. And until next time, peace out. See ya.